Chris Jefferson's fiance says that he didn't come home from work one night, and then the next time she saw him, he was on a ventilator. Tonight, she tells Fox 5's Rob Diriento that all she wants is answers. Well, the good news that Chris Jefferson's fiance shared with me is that he's responding to touch and sound. Now, she's trying to piece together what exactly happened that landed him in Grady's ICU. He is a great man. He doesn't deserve this. He has people that love him. 32 year old Chris Jefferson's fiance says he is fighting for his life at Grady Memorial Hospital. The big question she has is what happened to him? She says on Wednesday he had just finished doing some handiwork for a woman in Fayetteville. For some reason, she says on the rainy ride home, he stopped his car near the intersection of Riverdale Road and Garden Walk Boulevard. He was coming home from work, and I believe that he got out the car maybe to check on a tire or the windshield wipers. And as he was outside, he got struck by a vehicle. According to the Clayton County Police report, two other drivers pulled over to help him after they spotted him lying in the middle of the road on Thursday night. The initial report did not explain how police think he ended up there. Giles says the doctors at Grady noted that some of his injuries were consistent with assault, but others make it look like he was hit by a car. He is responding to touch and sound at this time. There are a lot of things regarding his health and condition that are uncertain. She says she just wants to get to the bottom of what put him in such a serious state. Christopher is a hard worker. He is a man of God. He is a family man. Now, doctors just took the father of five off a ventilator. The woman whose house Jefferson was working at has set up an online fundraiser to help support the family of seven. At Grady Hospital, Rob DiRienzo, Fox 5 News.